Hi, this is Larry Jordan. This is an excerpt of a power-up webinar entitled Apps and Plugins for Final Cut Pro 10. By the way, we have a new subscription membership service. All of our online video training, tutorials, and webinars are now available via subscription. This includes all of our Final Cut Pro 10 training and our Adobe training. For one low monthly fee, you get streaming access anywhere, anytime via the Internet. Plus, subscribers can attend any live webinar for free. This is a fast and low-cost way to access all of our online training. To learn more, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. Let's shift gears out of standalone applications into programs that enhance the look of our images. These are designed for people that really don't understand color correction. They just want their images to look better, different, outstanding, without having to get into how does a color corrector work. Probably the easiest way to start is Magic Bullet Mojo. It's manufactured by Red Giant Software at redgiant.com. It's a $49 application. It's simple to use. It's a plug-in. It warms up skin tones, cools backgrounds, and makes sure to maintain the image focus. And the good news is it works with a variety of presets, so you don't even have to understand how it works to be able to take advantage of it. Let me show you. This is a very dramatic scene of a an actress whose character just realized that she has royally screwed up a whole situation. I want to make this more melancholy. I want to make it more dramatic. To do that, let's just turn off the timeline index, turn off the event library, let's open up the effects, and let's go find Magic Bullet Mojo. There it is. Now there's a number of looks that we can use. Let's just select our clip here. There's a number of looks that we could use that's a, sort of like a one, two, three look or a, a blurred back look. It takes a second for this filter to load. It's got some fairly heavy math going on behind it. So you'll see the spinning gear, which gives it a chance for the, the filter to load up. Or I can just grab the Mojo filter itself and drag it on top of the clip. At which point, let's open up the inspector and see what we can do to make this image look more interesting. Now this is a bleak drama at the moment. This is from a John Putsch film called Route 32. And it's gone into a preset. This is with the filter off. This is with the filter on. And we can adjust the sort of the intensity by grabbing this mojo slider and dragging it back and forth. We can warm up a skin tone by grabbing this and dragging it. It warms it up. Or we can enhance the inherent contrast by punching it. Notice how we're starting to get some real sh heavy shadows in here. What I like is to also use the bleach it, which starts to take out some of the mid-tone saturation. And notice how suddenly this has gotten a much more austere... Uh, edge of, of rationality kind of feeling. Look at the difference between the warmth of what was shot and where we're heading right now. How much more dramatic that is. One of the things I like about this is that we have the ability to control things in a way that we didn't see in a standard color corrector. I'm not looking at gamma correction and, and shadow and highlight. I'm looking at, at saturation and, and punching it in contrast. They're using different terms that may be more easy for you to identify with. Or here, take a look at this clip. Let's just put a, a mojo on it, start clean. Look at how already it started to give us a more dramatic look. We can add a tint to this, blue that background just a bit, warm her up, bleach it back. I've seen a number of commercials that have that kind of a look where we've got good skin tone, but the whole color saturation's pulled back a bit. The nice thing about Mojo is we have a variety of presets, about 15 or so that we can look at to see if we like. We can then make changes, but it's really focused on trying to help skin punch and, and to make a character's close-up really work.
For the complete version of this webinar, visit our store at larryjordan.biz store. On the left-hand side, click Power Up Webinars and look for webinar number 65. And thanks.